Hello, what's up guys? This is Scorpion from How to Do and today we will be continuing our GTA series. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see that first. So in the previous video, we were making the uh, third person GTA controller which looks something like this. He can walk around, turn around, climb the stairs and also jump down. Alright, cool. So, in this video we will add a simple running system if you hold shift he will run and yeah that's let's just mm, dive into it <coughs> so in the previous video you have uh, if you have seen that we set this running system to uh, but we haven't set any condition over here so let's just do that we want to make a bool right here and we want to call that bool run so bool is actually a variable which stores only true or false so if it's true the condition will execute and if it's false the condition will not execute so if run is true uh, sorry if run is false then go back to idle all right if run is true then go to run all right pretty self-explanatory uh, let's play and see what's happening so you will see when I uh, go uh, when I just click this guy when I make it true then he will start running all right all right and if we just go ahead and close it he will stop so this is what we're gonna do through playmaker let's just go to watchdogs character say edit and yeah first we want to do is we want to just go ahead and see if the player is pressing any button so we'll do that by saying get button down so get button down actually is a button is a function sorry is an action uh, which which tells you that if the player is holding down the button all right and i have changed the fire uh, change the button name to fire 3 because fire 3 is left shift if you don't know go to edit project settings input and there is fire 3 and fire 3 is left shift all right okay go back fire 3 and if the button uh, if the player is holding down the fire 3 then what we're gonna do is we want to go to new event and say to run all right add the transition to run add new state to run and there we go now in this state what we want to do is we want to set animator bool set animator bool and the animator bool is this one uh, parameter name will be run all right make sure the spellings are correct and the uppercase lowercase things are are done and check these boxes the value means if it's true or false we want to make it true so make it checked and if uh, every frame yeah we want to make it every frame now the next thing what we want to do is we want to say if the uh, player has uh, released the button so we will say that get button up which means if the player has released the button the same button fire 3 left shift and then we want to go do back to idle go back to idle at transition to idle go back all right <clears throat> let's just a name to running all right idle plus walk and this is running next thing what we want to do is we want to copy this guy get axis vector copy it paste it over here and we want to also copy a smooth look at direction and paste it over here and that's it that's it play and you will see that it will perfectly work so we can walk around if you hold shift we can run around and he is climbing up the stairs he is running down uh, but okay so the if I release the button the player still runs so this is because I have not set the animator bool to false so simply go go to set animator bool copy this paste it over here and just do uh, uncheck that which means set it to false all right in here the animator bool will be true in here the animator bool will be false and that's it 
hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link will be in the description box below and in the next video we will see how to set up a car system and how to enter and exit that car <coughs> hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe to my channel like my video give me thumbs up and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in my next video